Hey there, welcome back to The Lab. I'm Daddy Clay. And I'm Daddy Brad. If there's one thing that really just gets my goat, it's these media-concocted health scare stories that are designed just to get parents all freaked out. You know what I'm talking about, Daddy Clay? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, no. There's actually, well, some. Dude, what are you talking about, some? Well, uh, you know, did you get that email? I oh, sent you about that. Here we go again. Well, guess I'm, I'm with you. I mean, you don't want to get all upset and overreact to every little, you know, story that's out there, but there's this, you know, there's one about this plastic, I mean, I think it's time for plastic parent panic. And I think we need to talk about it. We need to talk about bisphenol A, if, if you can figure out how to say that. Bisphenol what? Bisphenol A, it's in plastic, and we need to talk about it. So this episode is all about bisphenol A and you and your kids. <laughs> Now, for those of you who don't read emails from your panicked friends, or you don't visit sites like Daddy Types or bisphenola.org, you may be wondering what exactly is bisphenol A or BPA. For that, we go to Daddy Troy in the Science Corner. Bisphenol A is a high production volume chemical used in the production of polycarbonate plastics, epoxy resins, and flame retardants. Now, polycarbonate plastics are used in food and drink packaging particularly number seven plastics. The resin is used as a lacquer on metal products such as food cans, bottle tops, and water supply pipes. So this stuff is everywhere. Dude, have you read this? Uh, yeah, I sent it to you. Like, look at the from box. It's a government report. Yeah, it's from a branch of the NIH. It's government, you bet. Yeah, whatever, but it says here, BPA exhibits some biological activity similar to estrogen and other hormones. Instead of depending on Daddy Brad for our scientific analysis. Let's go to Daddy Troy in the science corner. Uh, Clay, right here. Well, I know that you're right there. It's like, it's, if we cut, it's, it's cooler because it's like it's more than one. What, what, just go, go. Okay. Researchers suspect that bisphenol A may be acting as an endocrine disruptor. Prenatal or early exposure to these substances causes the production of additional fat cells and predisposes the animal to obesity for life. Thanks, Daddy Troy. You betcha. Okay, so without going nuts, without being too alarmist, right, we know that this BPA, this bisphenol A, is in a lot of things that we use in the house. It's been shown to cause obesity in mice and obesity in children's on the rise in this country. So it makes sense to limit exposure to our young kids and our pregnant wives, but how do we do that? When you're in the grocery store, avoid buying foods that are packaged in plastic, marked with a little number seven recycle sign. That's the material that's got the highest BPA content. It's tough, you'll be surprised how much food, even baby food, is packaged in number seven. And when you're eating at home with the kids, avoid these little babies as much as you can. Avoid plastic utensils and plastic plates. Shop for BPA-free products. A lot of them will have this logo right there. It says, safe for plastic, free from bisphenol A. That's your best bet. You don't want to heat anything up in a microwave using a plastic bowl. Avoid using them with really hot foods, hot liquids. You don't want to do that. And, and when these things start to get worn and scratched up like this one, toss it out. You might want to consider washing these hand washing instead of putting them in the washing machine where they can get worn and that releases more of the chemical. And when it comes to really any kind of food container or bottle, try to go stainless steel or glass or porcelain. That's always the best bet. You know, even flow, they make a great old school glass baby bottle. Oh man, I knew it was getting harder to keep the weight off. <sighs> Dude, that is, uh, that is not BPA that's, that's causing the weight gain, that's, that's, that's beer. What? Because the BPA, it's not in the food supply until about 1993 or so, and you have to get it if you're you know, in utero or while you're still developing, which looks, you're not still developing. Looks, looks like you got a little bit back in 1968, man. That's, that's nice, that's <laughs> nice, the fat jokes, I like that. I'm on a diet, by the way. Um, I have been ever since a YouTube commenter said I didn't need a suit to look like a prego man. Ooh, that stung, right. didn't it? Yeah, that hurt. Ah. Anyway, this BPA stuff, it's hard to, it's hard to kid about. Um, so please drop us a comment if you're worried about it. Uh, what you're doing to address the BPA issue. Uh, definitely share with us resources and articles that you found. We'll throw some links up here on the site at dadlabs.com about where we've gone to get information and let us know what you think. I, 
I, did you have you been checking? I mean, I'm now I'm now turning everything upside down to check for numbers, even if it's full. It's just, it's just going out. Yeah, I ate all the bologna, all the bologna in the refrigerator last night. Protecting the kids. Aren't Absolutely, you? doing my part. Yeah.